house, it had a little thing here. Oops, and this is my house. And this is my driveway. I'm knocking this down. It's still staying on this side of the driveway. Probably about five feet here. It's going to go a few back. And it's going to go still behind in front of the house. So it's right there. And that's a three bedroom? That's going to be a one bedroom. That's going to be a one bedroom. One bedroom. So two on the other side right now. What is the square right uh, here? It's not actually a bedroom. What is the square footage? What is the square footage that you're adding to the house? Um, over here. I know you're taking, how much are you taking away? No. Number one, I'm going to take down uh, 15, 15 by 12. Can okay. okay. we just have one conversation going, please? You can look at that all you want. So you're, you're knocking down how much square footage? 15 by 12. Maybe yeah, that's 200. Is that? It's close. Oh, is that 180? And then you're going to add approximately 1,400. 1400. It's two floors of a square. Mm -hmm. So they could just for everybody's knowledge, they could. If this is uh, denied, they could. He could um, put a accessory apartment up to 900 square feet right. without coming before us. Correct. Um, but he, he wants to have a, um, a larger addition, so he has to come before us. It has to be. Uh, you got to upgrade family. your septic system and all that for this too, right? I got the plans right here. So it's all set. You don't you have want to destroy anything that. for that. I'm sure you would have to make sure that. Yeah. 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 Um, he's spoken with the Board of Health already. Uh, he has a newer system that's three bedrooms. Uh, the finished result, if this were constructed, was going to be three bedrooms. Okay. So the only thing the Board of Health requires is to do a Title V inspection to make sure the system is functional. Right. And that would be before them. That is not really. Well, no, I was just making sure I didn't go to make the property a big mound somewhere that down the road that we're not thinking about yeah, for no, about this. No, these are, this septic is not that old. Like okay. It's 2000s. Yeah, what, what is the size of the lot there? Uh, a little over three quarters of an acre, I think. And you got added the front of the farm a lot? I'm sorry? Is the farm a two yes. yes. yeah, yes. with 175 with water, right. water down there? Right. Yeah. yeah, across the jet right. right. to the front of the house, I think. Yeah. I think water goes by the house. Are there any uh, other two families in the area that you're aware of? There's a little duplex down the road. Down the road. Um, further north. Little White House, I think it's a little two family yeah. over there. Hamilton's old Hamilton's house. house. Yeah, Hamilton's yeah. Old. My house. There's a two family on the corner. Next There's to the church family. now, they just oh, built yeah. a two family over there, a duplex. Any questions from the board? Any more questions? Any of others that wish to, to speak on it? Just identify yourself. My name is Louise Cabral. I live at 2470 Pleasant Street, which happens to be behind him. And I have a, a 50 foot driveway that goes up, abuts his property on the south side as well. Um, when he first moved in, I had to stop in over there because he started to trim onto our property and was basically trying to take possession on it. With that short conversation I have with him, he had no problem whatsoever, and it does appear that he has left our property alone. But my concern with a true family over there is, number one, the lot is very tiny. <clears throat> it's already non-conforming to a one family. And he presently, at the back side of his property, it is a conforming lot, right? It's, it's Not if I were to build a new house on it now, is what I'm it's saying. It's a conforming lot, but it encroaches on one of the setbacks. Oh. Uh, the north property line does encroach on that property line, based on our current regulations. But our bylaws also have protections for homes like that, uh, and they're quite detailed. So Correct. Right, and I and I, I concur on the protections for the existing home, yeah. and I have no issue with it. He did a wonderful job cleaning up that house. It was a mess. He cleaned it up really nice, made the place very attractive. I have no issues with that. The major issue I have is he parks a lot of vehicles and a lot, his boat and a lot of his personal belongings along this backside. He lives a lot outside. He has a lot of family members. They gather in the summer. Um, I don't have a problem with gathering and noise and everything else, but they are notorious because it is a waterfront. It almost seems like a vacation home. They gather, they have the cookouts, it becomes loud. I do that too, you know what I mean? I live it down there and I don't have any problem. But I do have a concern when it's going to become a true family. And you, specifically, what is your concern then? I I'm concerned that there's going to be more cars, like you said. There's already a lot of cars there. I think there's like four or five cars for just one person that lives there. 
and and now he wants to make it a two, so now it's going to be five, six plus more. How many more boats are we going to get? How many more in that one little lot? My lot in the back originally was a two separate lots. I have three and a half acres back there. I was declined to build two separate houses. I was denied zoning to split my lot into two. How can you allow him to have a two family on such a small little lot when I was decli declined to build two? I don't know the answer to that, man, but how much frontage do you have? I have the 50 feet, and then I had another 50 feet, and originally those lots out back were, were had two lots separated, and there's a third access, third driveway that was in between Mr. Neely's house in mine. I lost possession of that. That went to Mr. Neely through Mr. Reese, who was the prior owner, who had petitioned the lots. But I guess based on what I understood, those lots back there had been declined because they originally were three, two lots. And he lost I really possession. Don't know anything about that, man. Right, that's but that's what I'm saying. I don't I know how such a small lot can get all this, expect all this stuff to be done. Property line. No. So are you in favor or I'm opposed? I'm opposed. It doesn't encroach on the property line. It encroaches on the. Where are we talking, Jim? Is this on the north side? The of north his, side. On the north side, that driveway that goes up to. Right. Up to his yeah, house. Right. So I don't know the exact dimension, but it's within the 15 feet of the property line for an existing structure. Um, it's probably a few feet. But isn't there? The, well, There's bylaws that protect the existing structures. Our bylaws are actually more specific that. If he proposes, or anyone proposes, an addition on a non-conforming structure, as long as the structure, the proposed structure, meets the setbacks, there's no relief that's needed from this board. You just he can't. could do an in-law apartment without even coming here, right? And yeah, as the chairman indicated yeah. before, our bylaws also have matter of right allowances for a 900 square foot in-law apartment or accessory apartment yeah. as it's defined. I got a question. How many bedrooms is the house now? Two. Two. So is he allowed four vehicles by law? As we uh, speak in our no bylaws, the bylaws no state per, per unit per bedroom is two cars yeah. for a two bedroom, two cars. Okay, it, so it, now you're going to have four cars. She was complaining he's already up to that. He's meeting that now. You add another bedroom. So I think that's another. So that's apartment. six cars. It's not a, it's it's an it's apartment house, right? Yeah, it's not an apartment house, and quite frankly, as long as the cars are registered in a the residential yeah. zone and they're off the street, yeah. okay. there's no limit. Just making sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, I don't know what driveway she was talking about. She's Fifty feet away from something. My my driveway is the 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 between the two houses on the. That's south not side. a driveway. That's all like. And that's woods. a driveway. That's woods. I did wetland. I did not. That's not put woods. In a not wetland. That's it's, a driveway. It's a driveway. I have no wetlands on my lot. All right. There's no driveway there. So we didn't. Right we now. don't it's utilize. Because I don't use it. It's all side. Okay. There's not a driveway there, it's all woods. Mm -hmm. Anybody else want to? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just listening right now. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Some so more facts on the table. Just identify yourself. Franz Kuchenbauer, 2386. This is my dad. We share the same name. So, our concern with the builders, we haven't seen any d design plans or anything. So, it's sort of, you know, sort of vague in that respect. We, it would have a direct impact on our, it would devalue our property. It would block water frontage views from our existing lot right now. Um, the noise concern that she mentions would increase as well. Uh, currently, it's a unique uh, situation with the house, his existing dwelling is about a foot from our boundary. Six inches. A foot or less, so it's very unique in that respect. Currently, there's drainage concerns where drainage from his existing house is pointed directly at us onto our driveway, coming right off the structure. So, if that footprint increases, that water flow is going to increase towards us, and it currently runs towards a decorative wall down a, a driveway that we maintain, which could result in additional maintenance, cross seats, whatever it happens. So there's a direct financial impact, there's a direct financial loss due to loss of water views, devaluation of the property, with, without even knowing the size of the structure, we, we have no plans. So it, it, it's, you know, we've invested time, money to build this, 
we don't want to see it lost by a you know two family being issued. So, versus so who is that for us? Your house was there for us, and, and your house was my house is there. There's a driveway there, which I have rights to that driveway that I do not use anymore. When I got there, I built my own driveway. It cost a few dollars to, so I could stay out of his way. Yeah. And all the water does not. Sure. It comes straight down the driveway, and there is no wall on my side of the house where it would ruin his wall. It, he has his driveway coming all the way down, so all the water that's coming down is all from up his hill and going down the driveway. It's got to be 20 feet from the house. Hmm? What's that? This house has got to be 20 feet from that that wall from the driveway because there's a driveway between your house well, and, and there. there. They yeah, are, that's your driveway, right? Correct. And I got rights to it. I'm familiar. I live on that area. The, the, the concern about the rights to the driveway, there is a right of way on the books, but the details. Yeah, nothing to do with those things, so. yeah, I understand. I it's a to some degree it does because he has east west passage, but they are crossing north south. To, to access their property. So if it if the property now becomes a two family, you have increased vehicles, increased people who now are he is accessing it from the other side now. I mean it, But you just said they have access to it. So but I don't use it. I built another one. I well, did not long I haven't drove up the front once. On but I'm just saying if he doesn't use it then it could be stricken or removed from the deed, no? That has nothing to do with us. Uh, I'm just, uh, well, it's it's some concern, there should be a concern yeah. about us if he has, yeah. he, he may not be yeah. using yeah. it, but if he has assets. Back when the styes on that place, they used to yeah. use that. He, 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 he could make, his, make a horseshoe driveway if that's the case. I mean, if he wanted to. I, mean, I built my own driveway. driveway. I, I, I that's not what I'd issue here tonight. Yeah. But if there's an increase of cars and people at that dwelling that access that right of way, that's a concern. So are you asking us to, like, mediate and say to him, gee, if you relinquish that, we wouldn't be opposed to this? No, I'm going to butter with a concern okay. about noise, increase of people on that property. The existing right of way, which is, according to my knowledge, is being not adhered to because it's a, only allowed for east-west passage and not a north-south. So by crossing that, they're voiding the right of way. So if additional people, additional vehicles come in, and that was to be the case, there's a violation of that right of way. And there's crossing of uh, property down right there. <clears throat> Not to mention the, the drainage issue, which currently, as of tonight, there is a gutter pouring down our driveway. Winter, ice, all of that. It's a steep hill to get up to our property. His drain goes right down our driveway as we speak. So as that footprint would increase on the property, that's more flow towards us. It just so the footprint. The, the, I didn't get the answer for my so you had the property, your house was already existing. The house that you're talking about, was that made built after this house here? No. No, before. no, no. We've been the house has been there for long. Okay. Both early 19th years, years. Yep. Well, I mean, so you just story. identify yourself for the uh, record. Franz, Franz Kuchenbauer. I've been there since 63 and an hour. Uh, the thing is, it's a residential area and uh, he has turned it into a semi commercial area. He has built a uh, installed three metal um, sheds where he stores his plumbing equipment right two feet against our foot and a half two feet his shed which came with the original house which is 35 it's feet be, long it's supposed to be three feet away right the sheds well, here, let's see. The, no, the yeah, I, I, I don't have any recent permits so these must be yeah. old instructions yeah. Here, where I put these 8x8s eight eight up to so the metal sheds. So if it's an 8x8, eight eight, it can be within three feet, up to three feet to the property line. That is correct. Yeah. And how many are allowed? We don't have a restriction on accessory structures. Wow. So there's three of them which cut our few. And for some reason, our rhododendrons died against uh, whatever. The thing is, the, the problems are multiple problems. I can point them out to you, okay? Uh, initially, 
with that driveway built, that strip of grass, his line for his house is less than six inches. Even in the days with the Stiles and Hansen, Roman Anderson had a huge problem with this place. So the thing is, <clears throat> I tell him, he asked if he could three, put three flower pots there, right? And that's a nice neighbor and <coughs> said, yes, right now, uh, somewhere must be working at night. He stuck over three feet, planted big bushes in ground, right? And he's on top of my water line, the main water line to the property. I didn't allow him to dig three feet, put gravel there, no, that. I will take it down, believe me. No, it's true. It's one aggravation after the other. No, it is to be said. People, you give them a little finger, they take their whole hand. Do you have anything else you want to add? Yeah, a height restriction. He has no two-story house. It's, it's a, a typical little old wooden, you know, one floor in, in the attic. They obviously sleep it's there. It's a two-floor house. Yeah, yeah. Huh? It's a two-story house. I've been in that's a two-story? Yeah. I've lived there my whole life. I've yeah. been in that home. No, there is. He hasn't changed the height of that house. There's a boundary floor. issue. There's always been but one. And this is what... I got one it, question it, for you guys. It gets, it gets a little... Kind of out of our room, but that place went up for sale. It's been such a... Uh, thrown in your side for all those years, why don't you just buy it? But we were underbidders and it uh, got scooped up last second. But by, no, like, we're really not here to... Yeah. No, no, I got it. No boundary I issues. But it affects people. my place every day. And the thing is, the few from my terrace, I obviously have the highest tones on the road. You want to go on record as uh, opposed or in favor of Absolutely this? opposed. Opposed, oh, there has been no plans issued. Uh, I'll take first word. Right. If you saw a set of plans, you might change your mind a little bit. It depends on the footprint and no. stuff, the water issues, but most likely we'd be opposed. Sure you, uh, you know. There's one unregistered car on the property now. They can have one unregistered car on the property. Okay. That's our, that's our I didn't know. Yeah. They all do. One concern in regards to the right way, it is being violated by crossing in a different direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to that degree, for, to say it's not valid, if there's an increase of people and cars on the property and that right of way were, were to be issued or allowed for other people to use, yes, that, it's a direct you know, concern of ours. And so to say it's not valid, I beg to differ, but that's it. Are you responding to what? Yeah, I've never said. driven on that driveway. I put my own in. I can't even get up. I work truck up that driveway, and I don't bother with that driveway. My kids don't go up that driveway. I don't think I drove up probably once to drop something off. David, is this your footprint? Yes. This is the footprint. This is the first time that we see it, so thank you. So you wouldn't be opposed that it could, if this was approved, that would make it a condition that this driveway not be used? Can I just ask a general question? Well, I just want to see if anybody else yeah, want to comment. I'll, I'll get back to you, though. My name's David Neely. I live in a couple houses down, and I got a notice from these people. Um, I, I've lived in the neighborhood almost 50 years now. Can you tell? <laughs> Me too. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's been a battle uh, ever since I moved in there to try to keep the neighborhood residential. Um, my concern, and I, I'm, I'm here tonight. I don't have a yes or a no. I'm, I'm here listening to what's going on. Uh, my concern is, what happens if he sells the property? Well, what it's, happens it's if, still this, a, uh, if this is It's a it, one owner. It won't be two, two properties. It'll it only be one owner. It will still remain a two. If it's approved, it will remain a two family if it's approved. So if he sells it, it still becomes it's, it remains it's, a two family. It's, yeah, it's sold as a two family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he is entitled to go in and put a uh, in-law apartment up to 900 square feet. He's asking for what did he say? 1,400. Without even having come as a as a right, you would have that same right. All of you, everyone would have that My same right. My understanding is an attempt has been made to convince him to do that, and he turned it down. Well, I don't know anything about that. So, okay. Well, if I could just uh, clarify uh, that last comment, I I believe he wanted to come in to make uh, to add an accessory apartment but larger than the 900 square feet. Exactly. And uh, 
my conversation with him, I didn't think that the board would necessarily approve that because we have a limit of 900 square feet. So it was suggested that rather than uh, go before the board for accessory apartment, that he go for a two-family apartment, uh, two-family uh, house. Yeah, not that we, not that we would approve it or anything, but by right, he has, he's entitled to build. You know, someone at the building commission approves his design and everything else. He can build an accessory apartment to his house, 900 square feet. He wanted to make it a lot larger than that. I didn't think the board would necessarily approve something like that because we do have that limit of 900 square feet. Uh, he was I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. The board wouldn't approve more than 900 feet. As no. far as far as an accessory apartment. An in in-law apartment. Oh, okay. okay. All right. uh, but we look at things differently for a two-family uh, apartment. So okay. it was suggested that he go for a two-family versus an accessory uh, in-law apartment. So can you explain to me uh, how the 900-square-foot uh, apartment wouldn't do what he wants to do? I believe they're asking for more. If if this is denied, then he has that option of throwing it or so would, that, <coughs> would that do what you're trying to do? No, I was trying to have my son and his baby and his wife move in the other side, which they basically live there anyway. And I was gonna move into this new addition with one bedroom, a kitchen and a living room, and a bathroom. So well, the 900 wouldn't do it? No, it wouldn't accommodate. I'd live in like, I'd have one room to live in. It's my property, I'm not ruining any View of your view, and you look at my house, and you know you're not I'm going make any it higher nice. than what you. No, it's, 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 it's just tough to materialize or visualize with, with yeah. this. I mean, we haven't seen anything, or anything was presented, or said here. This is the plan, or discussed. We get this, and we're trying to visualize what is going to impact us. Height. You know, I didn't bring distance. anything with me. I'm it's, just, it's just going to be a it's square. It's a stretch for us to this just not have to show me. We have a foot to shut. I am looking for a foot to shut. I'm looking for a foot to shut. I'm looking for a foot to shut. This shows two separate buildings. He first started to he had two separate buildings. No, that is the show here. in the one after. Okay, so it's the before and after. They submit those, I assume then? Ross they were and brought it over, yeah. Okay. So you did submit something. I did. Regarding it. That was the, what they have in the hand that I had. Um, I'm just confused by no. this, though, because it, it, you say that the two separate structures, they're not two separate. Like, this is the second floor to the first, so there's going to be three bedrooms after the fact, right? There's two that. bedrooms on that second floor, and that one square room. Okay. It's my living but, room that they use. But where is your gonna where's your second kitchen that you wanna do? Because it's and not this, on the drawing. It, no, there's no there's, there's no new drawing. I didn't draw up a whole diagram for it. We were going for a variance first and then I draw diagrams. I give the estimate of the square footage is fourteen hundred. Oh. There's, 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 there's is there a foundation but, there? Do you actually I have to dig a foundation. Do you have an existing foundation or is that a dirt slab? Well you have a cellar there, right? She's asking have, you um, the house is on a stone, yeah, the stone that, foundation. that addition on the 14 by 11, it's, a it's on a slab. There's not, no basement under there. It's a piece of concrete. What are you gonna do there? You're gonna I got to put a foundation so in however. So will the water table allow a foundation to be so this, put on there? This here doesn't show the new. No, it does not. It does not show the new. No. Okay. I don't have those. Uh, 
know I, I did have really a My, my question before was, have foundations. right, the, is, we right. have driveways, you know It's what I mean? up to him whether he wants to put a foundation or sell it. No, I didn't know if there was any zoning. That. that was what I was asking, if there's a zoning regarding these foundations. If it has to be a slab or if it has to be a certain That's elevation. That's usually up to the developer or the person doing it. If we don't make the requirement, it can be a On slab. the zoning element. Huh? How, how many... How there much, if I, if I were to build in this town a two family, how big does my lot have to be? You can, if you have a, a three, uh, three quarters of an acre, 175 feet of frontage with water or sewage. Uh, 375 foot frontage? 175. And what is his current frontage? Ma'am, we're getting into something here. Yeah, but what is, what is different the parts of the town are different areas. It's a, it's you have a, town water that requires a certain exception amount, that which we have down here. You have town water. If you didn't have town water, it would be too big. Uh, 60 feet. So we, we, but that is not what's before us. I understand. I understand. Um, what is your frontage right now of, of this lot here? To the porch, to the house. The frontage along the road. The whole frontage. The whole frontage? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 it's got to be 200. We have the deed here. Any other? Uh, you want? I guess. Is it just identify yourself. My, I'm Mike Kelly. I'm 24 20. I'm his next door neighbor. He's done a great job cleaning that lot up. He's always me in the whole job. I have two concerns. Yeah. Um, number one is water. Water table in that area is about a foot and a half down underneath. Whenever, no matter what you do. The water is there. You at dig the bottom the of the hill. Yep. Well, we're really at the top or near the top. But the water underground, you know, foot on the deck, you hit a, a foot and a half, and I've got water pouring. You, you just can't get rid of it. I've got water running through my lot all the time. It's kind of a fact of life living near Does it change on when the it river. Stops raining? What's that? Does it change when it stops raining? Nope. Because really, you're at the bottom of Richmond Hill, the water runs down through there. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got drains on this property that uh, it can be 90 degrees, no rain, and it's still draining. But so I'm very concerned about the water table, where the water runoff's going to be, how it's going to affect everybody, and then the second concern I have, you know, is it is a residential neighborhood. We bought it for waterfront, bought it for resale property. Um, I don't have a problem with the, the, you know, I think it's great that he's trying to do something for his kid. You know, I have a problem with the stigma of a two-family. You know, I'd be more receptive if he said, hey, why don't you put on a 1,500-square-foot addition? You know? I tried that, but they wouldn't let, they wouldn't let words you. Words go through <laughs> of that. It's not how we do it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's uh, family. Yeah. Can you answer that question? Could he just put on that addition on? If it's a single-family home and it's additional living space, sure. Yeah. You can't have two yeah. kitchens, right? You can't have, no, can't, can't have, have two kitchens, no. right. So you got to have a joint kitchen. Right. But he's not going to, this plan that he's submitted to answer your question and concern is not going to extend past the existing driveway that he has now. No, so, I got that. So uh, it but, shouldn't have any, any direct any effect of yourself. Right? No, I haven't, I haven't seen any problem with parking or you're, anything else. You are south of him, right? Yes. I'm yes. his next door neighbor, yeah, right, right on, on the, the opposite side, side. yep, on the south side. Yep. So it really shouldn't have any impact on, because it's going to be on the other side of his driveway. Um, the water runoff, I get it from I get it from their property. I get it from everybody. Mr. McNeely gets it from my property. We get it from <laughs> everybody. Get it. it's, it's a huge problem in that area. I already so, had to have the town pump last year, and I'm up behind them all. Yeah, I mean, the no river, matter what the you river do, that dumps into us. It, it affects it. I, you know, I'm not an engineer. Not sure. No la matter what you do down there. Year, Richmond Hill is a rock with dirt on it. Last yeah, year we had to have there. it all pumped yeah. out manually by the town. There's, there's Mother's house up on uh, out County Street, the same thing. All the what did you have to have pumps? I had a question. The riverbed. It was under the The town came in with their, their, their own pump, pump it out. We can start always usually, quiet. I know, but usually when, when someone comes in front of us, we have a, 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 an offset to we draw have, to show somebody. Some, uh, do you think it's on your desk by any chance? Can I see that piece of paper that you have there? This one? This is the one I had. Again, this is all I had. But he actually came up with a, a design of what the addition would look like. I think it would ease a lot of people's thoughts. It would ease my thoughts if I had a source. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be beautiful. Hmm. Just just check check I want you to check your big file. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry. I don't believe it's here. So is this a conforming lot now? Yes. yes, yes it is. It is. It is. Chairman, I just want to clarify that I made a statement earlier that I have been in that home. I have been only in that home when the prior owners were there with the styes, and I was not in that home since there's been any type of renovation. So I just want to clarify that. Does the board have any uh, other questions? Do you have anything else you want to add? If I forgot something. Did we already cover the um, expansion of the driveway and how many feet you're looking to expand that driveway up there? The, the existing driveway itself is going to be any expansion whatsoever and the footprint of that driveway is going to stay the same. No. The footprint does not have okay. to change. If I decide I want to change it, I don't have to go in front of other people to, and if I want, want to widen it a little bit because I got all rocks and I might want to make the rocks concrete where people park. I mean, uh, it's so it's one concern everybody's got is the water runoff. Okay, so I'm a well, voting member and I'm not comfortable with making any uh, decision. Uh, I'll, right, make the, I'll make the decision that we close public hearing? Not necessarily, because I do want to get the... Yeah. They oh, did provide us with some uh, okay. designs of what the building would look like. We don't uh, have them uh, with us, but I do want the uh, board members to take a look at it. I want them to have an opportunity to have input. If you have any questions about it, I want the public to be able to have input. So, uh, motion to continue until next week? Yes. Okay, you want me to make that motion? Well, we got to make sure there's a motion that there's a set of drawings to be shown. Yes, I mean, we, I, I know we had them okay. <laughs> today. I, I saw them today. I think it'll be a lot of folks to see something. I have two points of order, Mr. Sure. Chairman. Um, I think if plans are going to be submitted, those plans need to be accurate because if this board is going to make, uh, a, you know, an affirmative action based on a plan that the neighbors agree with, that's the same plan that I have to issue a building permit on. So those plans have to be accurate. Okay, accurate on footage, uh, on accurate window, on architect, and nice somebody, or you want the basic idea. Board. Where the, it's located on the, on the property. I can do all that, mm -hmm. like, without an architect, so on a machine that will show view 